Western Illinois coach head, head coach Joe Davis, team coming off a win over McKendree. And in the, this week, they're going to start conference play. They're going to go to Charleston Southern on Saturday afternoon. So, Coach, just some thoughts about, uh, about your team, then we'll go to some questions. Yeah, happy for our players, certainly, and uh, coaching staff to uh, – you know, to get a victory in our in our home opener. Um, very appreciative of the community and the campus uh, to support. Just really had a great atmosphere Saturday night on Hanson Field. And, uh, you know, again, we, we were able to celebrate there for about 24 hours and uh, promptly got back to work Sunday night and, uh, and yesterday. So, you know, excited about, uh, you know, starting OVC play here. Obviously, first opportunity for Western uh, University football to be associated uh, with OVC football. So excited to get going and and certainly have a, a lot of work ahead of us. Thanks, Coach. We'll go to some questions. Dan is with us. So, Dan, uh, you can go first. Morning, Coach. Morning, Dan. I think, you know, we talked about this a little bit Saturday night, but the importance of the run game really opened up your offense in a lot of ways. Um, you know, without stating the obvious, you know, what what did the run game mean to the offense as a whole? Well, it's one of our pillars of our offense. You know, it's it's uh, we we really have three we wills of our offense, and that's number one is that we will establish a physical running game using all eleven players. And and a big credit to our offensive staff. You know, spending a lot of time, you know, just trying to make sure that we're putting our players in the best position to succeed. And uh, I think two weeks in a row now we've gone in saying, you know, hey, how how can we, you know, be patient and, and try to establish a run game? Certainly helps. Uh, you know, the quarterback and, and uh, just foundational helps our football program. So, uh, you know, ho hopefully we can continue to build upon that. Uh, you know, we built this, this offense here in the early stages of our program with big offensive linemen and big backs, and that'll continually be a, a focus for us in recruiting and, uh, and, and, you know, to, to see some of the fruits of that labor, you know, come around is exciting. Certainly still have a lot of work to do, you know, on that part of our, our uh, offense and our football program, uh, but excited about some of the things that we've seen so far. You also talked about needing to clean some things up. I know you had some some penalties that you weren't real happy with. So I guess talk about some of those things that need to be. Yeah, very disappointing. I mean, to have 12 penalties, you know, in that football game, uh, one of the longest football games I've been a part of. Um, you know, I think we had six personal fouls as a football program, just completely, uh, you know, inexcusable. And, and some of them were, you know, may, maybe a little bit uh, could have gone either way, but but some of them were blatant and uh, just really a lack of discipline, the lack of focus, certainly something that we've spent uh, time as a staff talking about, talking about uh, to our team here in these in these early uh, uh, early parts of our week. Uh, and, and still probably a facet of developing a young football team, an inexperienced football team. Uh, guys at times Saturday night let their emotions get the best of them. Uh, and, and, uh, and, you know, we're flagged for it. So certainly not something that, that we want to be uh, known for uh, or, or show up on a consistent basis. We've got to bring that penalty count down, and it's, and it's bit us here in the past couple of weeks. And then finally, I'd just like to get your thoughts on uh, your opponent, Charleston Southern. A lot of respect uh, for Gabe and what he's done in his career. And uh, one of the things that uh, just following Gabe from afar, I, I know about him is that he he runs a first class operation and he truly cares about the well-being of student athletes. And he certainly cares about, you know, creating a, a, an experience uh, for, for life development for student athletes. And I, I've always been impressed uh, with him for that. So, you know, this is a team that uh, defensively you know, stands out a lot. They're long, uh, they're physical. They they present you with a multitude of looks. Um, they they've done a nice job, as have a, a lot of teams at our level. You know, adding depth and value in the transfer portal. Uh, you know, offensively, they, they uh, uh, really have hung their hat on a very uh, unique run game that's caused a lot of defenses, a lot of problems here early in the season. They're uh, their running back, Isom, is versatile. He's dynamic. Uh, he's physical. He's got all kind of twitch to make, you know, make the extra defenders miss. Uh, really did an excellent job uh, as an offense of, of basically kind of wearing on Tennessee State, you know, throughout that game. I mean, they, they possessed the ball for, I think, 42 minutes, you know, on Saturday in that football game. And 
Um, and I'm sure as a staff, they're looking at that saying, wow, you know, we'd love to do that every game. You know, it usually equates to a very successful Saturday when you can possess the football that for that long. So we're going to have our work cut out for us. Um, you know, and, and something that stands out to me, they do an excellent job in special teams. You know, they, they have arguably the best punter in the league, a uh, huge leg. He's flipped the field multiple times for them. Uh, you can see a lot of defensive and offensive starters that show up across their special teams units, which tells me as a program, they're, they're placing a massive emphasis, you know, on that, on that part of their football program and, and doing what they need to do to put their best players out there. So um, I believe it's their homecoming Saturday. Uh, and, uh, and, you know, we certainly have a tall task going down to South Carolina, uh, to play the Buccaneers, no doubt about it. Thanks for your time today. Thanks, Dan. But your, your four non-conference games just sort of worked out. They were the first four games and we taught you just talked about, you know, clean things up, improving that kind of thing. Is that beneficial to kind of play those, work those things out? And now you got your eight games that probably mean the most coming up. Yeah, I would, I would probably say, uh, you know, I would echo what a lot of the conference coaches say that now, as you get more consistently in the league play, you start to see, you know, who people really are. You know, I think early uh, in the FCS slate nationally, I think a lot of head coaches would say, you know, it's, it's hard to find out exactly who you are. You know, you, you play a power four team, you play a, a nationally ranked Mac team, you play a nationally ranked FCS team and you play a D2 team and, and you're and you're still sort of working through new players and new rotations and new schemes. Again, speaking for us here at Western and uh, and now you get into conference play, you hope to settle in and, and, you know, continue to establish the identity that you want as a football program. So, uh, you know, like I mentioned in the opening statement, excited to now get into OVC play. It's It's been on the forefront of our weekly team meeting every every Monday morning at 6 a.m. We have a team meeting and the you know one of the first slides that goes up in front of the team is is our mission is to win the OVC. That's that's it. Everything we do, the process here, uh all equates to trying to become a conference champion and uh and our habits and our the way we practice, the way we eat, the way we sleep, the way we train, the way we game plan, uh all have to have a championship mindset to it. And uh excited to get going uh, with that this week. Coach, thanks for your time this morning. Uh, best of luck on the road, and then we'll talk to you again this time next week. Thanks so much, guys.